Hey, what's up everybody? What have I learned from stacking silver for over the past four years? That's right. If you are a newer stacker, if you are just getting into stacking and trying to preserve your wealth in silver, I would ask, go to my channel after this video is over, sort through my videos from oldest to newest, and look at the unboxings that I did in 2016. And don't go that route. Don't go the route that I did in 2016 when it came to stacking silver. Now, when I first got into stacking silver and I was watching YouTube videos, there was a lot of people talking about um, buying silver for the cheapest premium over spot. There was a lot of people talking about know how you're going to sell silver. There was a lot of people talking about know what your end game is and know how you're going to sell. And you know what I did? I ignored everybody and I wish I would have listened to everybody who was talking about know how to sell, know what your end game is and know what premiums are and buy for the cheapest premium over spot. Now, there is a difference between collectors and stackers, and I just want to focus on stacking silver, um, the stacking side of it, and not the collecting side of it. So if you look at my oldest videos, I was stacking high premium or medium premium over spot. The better bullion is what I was stacking. Now, I still buy the better bullion. I still buy the kookaburras, and I still buy the Lunars, and I still buy um, two-ounce high-relief rounds when I, I find high-relief rounds that I like that have a little bit of a higher premium, but I am not stacking them. I'm not buying them by the tube or buy, you know, 20 coins or 40 coins or 60 coins at a time. Um, so I have learned that when I stack silver, I like stacking American Silver Eagles. Now, American Silver Eagles do have a little bit of a higher premium, and I also like to stack a little bit of generic. Um, but I do like to stack um, American Silver Eagles. They're a little bit easier to sell um, when it's time to sell if you're going to sell. Um, but you have to know when you first start out stacking silver, know how you're going to sell, know where you're going to sell. Are you going to sell in a secondary market? Are you going to sell at your local coin shop? Um, so right now when I buy silver, I buy the silver that I know that my local coin shop is going to buy. Um, my local coin shop pays spot for generic silver and they pay a dollar over spot for American silver eagles. Stop in your local coin shop. Know how much they pay for silver. Do they pay spot for generic? Do they pay under spot for generic? Um, some areas are different than others. Some local coin shops don't like to buy silver. Some local coin shops only like to buy gold. Um, some local coin shops give you less than spot, you know, 50 cents or a dollar under spot for generic, where mine gives me spot for generic so know how you're going to sell and know the premiums that you are paying for silver those are the things that i have learned over the course of the last four years now a lot of people just have to learn by experience um like i said i heard a lot of people talking about the stuff that i'm talking about in this video and i chose to just go my own way and i had to learn as as the um, time has gone on. So what else have I learned? I have learned about slabbed or graded coins. When you buy graded coins, silver, graded silver, modern day bullion coins, there's a, likely, a likelihood that these coins will develop milk spots. Rather, it's just a... Uh, a bullion coin like a American Silver Eagle or if it's a better bullion coin or a higher premium bullion coin like a Chinese Panda 
And that's why I keep this coin. I could easily take this coin um, out of this slab and or take it to my local coin shop and sell it to them and get a little bit of money for it. But I keep this as an example. I keep this and I have made several videos on this coin about why um, why not to buy modern bullion coins slabbed. Why not to pay the extra premium for modern bullion coins slabbed. And that's because these could develop milk spots. Now, if this was an MS69 without milk spots, no doubt I would be able to put this on a secondary market and um, get a pretty nice premium for this 2009 30th anniversary Chinese panda. But since this has milk spots and it's got a lot, a lot of spots on the, on the reverse, and it's got a few spots on the obverse, and so if I was to list this on eBay, I would have to say in in the in the description and probably in the title that this has milk spots, um, because they may not always look at the picture closely enough to notice that it has milk spots. And then they're going to probably complain, open up a uh, file a complaint and want a refund. And then you have to pay for shipping for them to ship it back and all that uh, crazy stuff. So I no longer buy slabbed coins in uh, or silver modern day bullion coins in slabs for, for the reason that any silver coin can and at some point probably will milk spot. So the only time that I buy modern bullion coins now is if I can get it for about the same price as um as if I was gonna buy it raw. Um, but I did pay a little bit of a premium for this, not knowing that it was going to milk spot, but that's why. So now there are certain coins with like nicer designs that you can buy for a little bit closer to spot like these queen's beast um over time the queen's beast premiums have gone up a little bit and these can also milk spot by the way i have had several queen's beast um especially the lion the first one in the series to develop milk spots so any silver coin no matter the premium the higher the premium or lower the premium, any silver coin can milk spot. And that has also changed a little bit the way I buy silver uh, bullion is um, I, I buy them. I, I buy most of my bullion as close to spot as possible, mainly American silver eagles, even though American silver eagles do, again, have a little bit of a higher premium than if you're just going to buy generic bars and rounds but I know that it will be easier for me to sell and get a little bit back on the American Silver Eagles if I choose to sell than if I was just selling generic bars and rounds um, so this is the choice that I choose when I decide I want to buy silver by weight I like to buy American Silver Eagles. Um, and then that leads me to spot price. I like to wait for the spot price that I want. Um, silver right now, silver right now, if you look at my videos from 2018, you will see that I unboxed a lot of tubes, a lot of uh, American Silver Eagles in 2018, and that's because silver spot price was really, really low, uh, between 13 and 15 dollars an ounce. Um, so with the premiums, I bought American Silver Eagles for under 17 dollars an ounce, where right now you're going to be paying most likely over 20 dollars an ounce for American Silver Eagles. Um, and then I've also learned that to diversify into a little bit of gold. Now, I do think gold right now is um, high as far as spot price is concerned. 
Um, but I also diversified into gold um, in 2017 and 2016 when gold spot price was a little bit lower between uh, $1,200 and $1,300 an ounce. And as most of you already know, gold spot price is $1,500. So a couple of things to take away from this video is no premiums. Um, stack bullion, stack a little bit closer to spot, um, uh, you know, American silver eagles, maybe some generic silver bars and rounds. But the thing I like about American silver eagles is that they're recognizable um, with most local coin shops, uh, pawn shops, um, online, no matter you know, if people know about silver, they know American Silver Eagles. Generic bars and rounds, um, people may not necessarily know about them and may um, hesitate when buying uh, generic bars and rounds. But uh, you should have very little to no problem selling American Silver Eagles when the time comes and you have to um, sell or liquidate or just uh, sell a little bit of ounces out of your stack. So those are some of the things that I have learned over the uh, past few years when stacking silver. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.